And coverage continues with this fatal crash happening in the midst of a major effort to increase pedestrian and driver safety in Springfield. The Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis live for us tonight on Sumner Avenue, where police were out in force earlier today. Leon. Chris Jordan, police wrapped up their high visibility enforcement here on Sumner Avenue about an hour ago. It's about two miles from State Street where the 16 year old was hit and killed yesterday. That's the seventh deadly crash in the city in just over a month. Caught on camera, people getting pulled over for violating traffic laws. Springfield police working with state police to hand out citations on Sumner Avenue from 11 Thursday morning till 4 in the afternoon. But while this was happening here, Western Mass News crews witnessed a crash on State Street. Near the spot where a 16 year old was hit and killed by a school bus on Wednesday, a street that was the focus of an earlier ticketing operation last month. A lot of it's enforcement and a lot of it's personal responsibility. When you're behind that wheel, uh, you got to take care of yourself, the people in your car, the other drivers and pedestrians on the street and pedestrians as well have to uh, make sure they're, they're, the cars are stopping. Stepped up patrols in recent weeks along State Street. Parker Street and Boston Road have led to more than 250 citations, numerous criminal complaints and an arrest. Sumner Avenue was selected for extra enforcement on Thursday. Digging deeper, we learned so far this year there have been 175 single or multi car crashes along this road. None of them Fatal. Springfield Police Spokesperson Ryan Walsh reminds drivers and pedestrians to be alert. Just because there's a car in the road doesn't mean they see you. So please, whatever you do, you know, when you're crossing the street, double check, you know, triple check. As for stepping up patrols, Walsh tells us most people slow down on enforcement days. For the most part, because of the officers in the area, the speeding does go down a little bit. People are still going over the posted speed limits, but they're addicted to their phones so much that drivers just can't put their phones down, even though if they even though they know an officer is right there. Walsh says we can expect to see more focused traffic patrols ahead. The commissioner wants to continue this as long as possible. Some funding might be needed going into next year uh, that we're talking to state legislators about. We got the citation numbers in for Sumner Avenue. There were a total of 124 citations that consisted of traffic violations, and that 124 includes eight criminal complaints for driving without a license or a suspended one. Now, Walsh adds for past traffic enforcement, they typically would hand out citations that had to do with distracted driving, like violating the hands-free law or speeding. Live in Springfield, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.